I have another quick video here I wanted to share with you guys on how to enable and disable lock screen widgets in Android 4.4 KitKat. Now I am using the Google Nexus 5 phone here, the 16 gig model, and my phone's currently running Android KitKat version 4.4.2. I am not rooted and my phone is just stock. So I'm going to show you guys where you can go in and enable your widgets for the lock screen. Simply go ahead and go into your settings and scroll down to security. Select security and there you go. Enable widgets. It's right there. Now mine's currently disabled because I have no check mark in the box, but if I check mark that box, I have now enabled my widgets for the lock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it unchecked. Real quick, go to my lock screen and just show you that if you're in here, you really can't do anything here. You can't swipe down and do anything. But if you hold the little camera app, you know, you can bring your camera out or grab it up here and pull it out. That's about all you can do there. So I'll show you what happens here when you enable the widgets. Go into security. Now they're enabled. Go back to the lock screen. And of course, now I have the capability of swiping down coming across and simply adding in a widget. So say I want to do Google Plus posts and I just want to select uh, what's hot. There I can have that widget on my lock screen. So if I want to make changes there, I can just swipe down and press and hold, long press and hold that and I can move it back and forth, you know, and you can move your widgets around or you can move it up to where it says remove, hold it over top there, it turns red, you can delete it. Okay, so I want to go back, just touch the little lock to get back up there, um, go back in there. I want to add in, say I want to add that back in there. Um, I'm going to add what's hot. So now that I've added that widget, let's say I'm in my phone here. I go to settings and I come down to security and I turn the uh, enable widgets selection off. So now I disabled widgets. Okay, go back out here, go back to my lock screen, you know, no way to get to them, whatever. One cool thing about this is, is that it actually saves the widget, whatever you have in there last, um, it seems as though it saves everything. So that's one really cool thing. So go ahead and re-enable them, go back out, go to lock screen, and of course, swipe down and you can see it saved the widget. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove that widget, okay? Touch the lock, you know, back at your lock screen. But now you can see, though, you have the capability of swiping down and coming in and adding um, widgets. So let's say I want to put Gmail there. And here's why I think they may have it under the security tab, guys. Because if I set up my inbox to be a widget, okay, and I turn the phone off and turn it back on, now obviously I have access to get in here and, and see that. Okay, now let's say um, I want to press hold that, long press and hold that, and move it over to my to my my lock screen where it comes up first, like that. So say somebody's walking along and the phone's laying there, you know, a stranger picks it up and they're probably going to try and turn it on or press the button. Now they can see, you know, what's in your inbox, a little bit of information about you. You know, depending on what widget you're using, it could be a security issue. Now, here's a nice thing about it is, though, I mean, you can press that and you can't really access it. The idea here is to slide the lock across in order to open that widget up. Okay, you can sit here and try, 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 but it's not going to. So if you click it and you swipe across, now it opens that, uh, it opens that widget up. So getting back to the screen here, um, you know, you can't get in there. But now if you simply swipe down, now you have now you can see all your email there. You know, and you have access to get in to get in here and make changes and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna touch the lock. What I'm gonna do real quick though guys is go in. I want to show you what it's like with a passcode on there. So let's go in and we'll put something generic on there real quick under security and we'll go to screen lock because I only have the slider on right now when there's no password. So I'm just gonna put a password on. We'll just do like I think I'll just use L four times. Okay, so just use the password L for this demonstration, and I'm going to go back into my lock screen here. Now you can see it wants a uh, 
wants me to do a passcode there. But you can still see, like if you try and access your email, you can still see that you can, let me push the lock back up there. Say, say somebody's, you know, walking along. Hey, there's a cool phone. Wow. wonder whose phone this is. You know, they push the power button on. Well, there's your email pops right up. Okay. Um, and one thing you can do here is swipe down. Okay, and there, and that's going to show the rest of your emails. Maybe people have sent you email, leaving it a bit vulnerable. So, you know, you can't really do anything with this. You can't access that email. It won't let you, but you can still visibly see it, you know, and you can actually, there I can actually remove it. I can actually delete this without putting a passcode in to the phone. So... Even though you still have the option here of putting a passcode on the phone, um, let me come back one, and getting into your phone, okay, you still have access to see those widgets, and that's probably why, you know, you can get to this stuff still, even though it's behind a, a passcode and all. Um, there it won't let me actually add anything unless I put the passcode in. So the idea here is to put the passcode in and then that'll allow me to add widgets. So something to go in and play around with guys and I believe that is probably why it is under the security um, lock here in the menu. So just something to be aware of with widgets uh, for phone safety and security. You know, I'm not real concerned about it myself, um, but just something to be aware of and that's how you enable and disable your widgets and right now I'm just going to disable mine. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go in there and play around with that, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, please like and subscribe or comment on my channel, guys, and you guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.